Hi, this is Richard Gain, and in this video, I'd like to show you my new toy. Back in 2011, I built my first 3D printer, and one of the first objects that I uh, created and then uploaded to Thingiverse was this beautiful mathematical object called the Selassie Polyhedron which has seven sides and every side on this polyhedron has an edge which connects with every other side which means that if you were to colour this polyhedron where each face would need to be a different colour where no two faces can have the same colour. This model here you can see uh, the top there got a little bit melted because back in 2011 I didn't have a cooling fan on my 3D printer and the top got too hot as, it, as the hot plastic uh, accumulated in the final point as it grew up this way and uh, but I've kept it anyway because um, this was the original one but I've always wanted to make a Selassie polyhedron uh, with seven colours and it wasn't possible with this type of printer. But then I thought maybe I could make uh, one of these polyhedra using seven different pieces joined together. So my first uh, task was to create seven shapes that had a split along each edge that could then allow the seven faces to be glued together and each piece could be printed in a different colour. And a few months ago, I successfully worked out how to do that. So here are the pieces and you can see that there's a very sharp edge which allows the pieces to be put together with exactly the right angle and they can then be glued together to make one of these and here it is this is the Selassie polyhedron constructed in seven colors and then I went one stage further what I wanted was a polyhedron made out of interlocking pieces that could be assembled like a puzzle. Uh, that wasn't an easy challenge and it's taken me several iterations to get it right but this week I finally succeeded and the strange shaped pieces look like this. So the red and orange look like that. The yellow and green pieces look like this. The smaller blue pieces have these uh, connecting holes and the smallest purple piece has this groove. So to assemble it, starting with the red piece, you then need to twist in one of the blue pieces slide in the yellow piece and do the same with the other set
can see that starting from the red face, that's in contact with the orange, the yellow, the green, the light blue, the dark blue, and then the purple. The shape can be made in four different ways because the uh, two pairs of, uh, starting from the red and orange, obviously, you can have the yellow and green either way around and then the light blue, dark blue either way around, which gives you four different um, options for how you assemble it. But basically it's the same final shape. So I'll be making these available soon um, and if you're interested in purchasing one do please get in touch and I'll get one over to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.